and bringing home the title. The Trotwood Rams are state champions tonight. Highlights from a thrilling game in Columbus and the welcome home ceremony in Trotwood. And what are the next steps after the completion of the Mueller report? More on the calls from Congress for the report to be made public. Good evening. I'm Adam Reif. We begin tonight with a renewed hope to bring fresh food to the area of Dayton that goes without. The site of an old, rundown convenience store in the east end of the city could soon help address the food desert crisis. Two News reporter Judith Rotana tells us what's working in Dayton to make positive changes. Convenient Plus in East Dayton closed about a year ago. A local nonprofit is eyeing the vacant property, hoping to convert it into something that will improve health conditions in Dayton. There are few healthy food options for people living on the east side of Dayton. We need something here, and uh, there's nothing. This old convenience store carried a few items, but lacked produce staples. Now, neighbors like Darren Thornsbury look forward to a real grocery store opening here. Well, we got like 24 apartments right here, and there's people that need stuff, and they don't have the capability of getting places. The folks at the nonprofit East End Community Services are in the process of buying the property. We're pretty optimistic that we're going to be able to, again, turn this building that has been troubled for a very long time into a community asset. The store would carry fresh produce and meats. Shoppers could also buy ready-made soups, salads, and sandwiches. It should enable us um, to help families eat more nutritiously. Getting to a store with those options now is a challenge. If you're walking, you're looking at about a good 30 to 35 minute wall. The goal is to keep prices down, something Lapore Gentleson says they'll do by selling locally grown food. We're growing a lot of produce in the neighborhood on vacant land right now. The store is still a year out from opening. For those looking for their next meal, it can't come soon enough. It'd be wonderful. Now, the total cost of the project is estimated to be about $100,000. If you want to help them in their mission, you can donate to the nonprofit. We have a link to that website at WDTN.com. Just click on this story. Judith Ratana, 2 News, working for you.